Tesla recently unveiled a new compact electric robotaxi, referred to as the CyberCab. This vehicle marks a significant step in Tesla's autonomous driving vision. Here are some key features. Design. The CyberCab has a futuristic look, reminiscent of the Cybertruck with its angular design, but it is smaller and sleeker. It features butterfly wing doors and lacks a rear window, giving it a unique aesthetic compared to Tesla's current lineup. The vehicle's design includes aerodynamic elements like partially covered tires, enhancing efficiency. Interior The CyberCab is a two-seater vehicle, optimized for short urban trips as part of a robotaxi fleet. While details on interior dimensions haven't been provided, the cabin is spacious, and it offers decent cargo space similar to or larger than the Model 3's trunk. Tesla has recently revealed more about its wireless charging technology, which is set to play a significant role in its upcoming autonomous vehicles, including the Robotaxi. The key feature is that these vehicles won't require any physical plug-in to charge, making the process fully automated, especially in a future where self-driving cars handle everything themselves. Tesla showcased this at the unveiling of the Robotaxi, and the wireless charging system is expected to operate with a 25 kW charge rate, although it won't be as fast as the current supercharger network's high-speed charging. The company has been working on improving wireless charging efficiency, aiming to reduce energy losses, which has been a challenge for such systems in the past. This shift to wireless charging aligns with Tesla's goal to make the charging process seamless, particularly for autonomous vehicles. The move away from plug-in systems simplifies things for robot access, where no human intervention would be needed to charge the vehicle, enhancing the fully autonomous experience. Price and availability, Tesla aims to price the CyberCab below $30,000, making it relatively affordable. Production is expected to begin around 2026, although Elon Musk has acknowledged that delays could push it to 2027. The operating cost is expected to be around $0.20 cents per mile, which could make it attractive for ride-hailing services. Technology, one of the biggest innovations is that the CyberCab will not have a traditional steering wheel or pedals, relying entirely on Tesla's full self-driving system. It will also be the first Tesla vehicle to come with wireless inductive charging as a standard feature, making it ideal for a fleet of autonomous vehicles that can recharge without human intervention. That a person in their entire lifetime would not see, but <laughs> hopefully, um, yeah. Exactly. So, it's, it's, so with, with that amount of training data, it's obviously going to be much better than what a human could be, because um, you can't live a million lives. Um, and it's also, it can see in all directions simultaneously. This vehicle represents Tesla's broader ambitions for a fully autonomous transportation system, though there are still questions about the readiness of its FSD system to handle unsupervised driving. Safer than a human, just um, for all those reasons. Um, and and, and I, I want to emphasize that the, the solution that we have is, is AI and vision. So there's no um, expensive equipment needed. So the, the Model 3 and Model Y and SNX that we make today will be capable of full autonomy unsupervised. Um, and, and that means that our cost of producing the vehicle is, is low. Um, now, we, we are going to actually overspec the 
computer for the cyber cab. Uh, so our, our AI5 computer um, will be somewhat overspec. And uh, because I think there's actually also an opportunity, sort of like an Amazon Web Services, where if the car is driving for 50, for 50 hours a week, there's still over 100 hours left. And it, it, there's a potential there to have a massive amount of distributed inference compute, where if you've got, like, say, a fleet of 100 million vehicles and a kilowatt of efficient inference compute, you have 100 gigawatts of, of compute, which is really quite substantial. Um, and uh, if it's there, you might as well use it. So, um, yeah, so that's, that I think will make sense. So 